Hi guys, this is Femi. Today we'll be showing you how to create our database, how to connect to our database, and how to migrate our database. Connecting the database is pretty simple. I uh, will start uh, that uh, from uh, command prompt. So, for you to get this open, I press on Windows X. So, maybe if you are using Mac, you may use another command. But I uh, open my um, command prompt and I'll go to my directory folder. I'll go to my e advanced folder, which uh, I'll need to change my directory for CD. Yeah, I'm in there. So the next thing for me to do is ye create ye to advance. Or it's saying unable to load and I make my PHP my square not found. Yeah, if you're using PHP server, you probably encounter this error because uh, in PHP server my square has been deprecated. So I think what we need to do now is to go to our browser, um, phpmadmin, because I'm using some, and we'll create a database manually. So I'll create database, I'll say to advance, I'm giving you to advance. So I have my database created and we'll for you to know where the your database name is, you go to your config from front end config, then go to your main local. From a main local, no, uh, I mean common config main local. In your main local, you see this is a database name, or oh, it is you to advance. Let's let's try it again if it will work. No, not working. So you remove this, you to advance, and the username of my database is root, and my my password is empty. So what I'll do is I'll need to write ye migrate. Throw some error due to the fact that I'm using PHP seven. Yeah. Throw some error due to the fact that I'm using PHP seven. Yeah. So I use you migrate. So now it's creating migration history table works. It's been done totally. So it's asking me apply the above migration. I'll say yes. It's now create, creating. Uh, let's go to our browser and check our database. So now we have two databases. We have Microsoft database and we have user database. So we now have our database created from our migration. And the next thing for us to do now is to log in. And for us to log in, we need to enable the previous lab navigation bar that we remove from this place so that we can have access to our login page or else we can actually try doing like this <clears throat> meaning we need to sign up first so we we'll know but first let's try to enable back our navigation bar so we we'll see what's happening so from our controller we'll go back to our views then to our layouts and on the main we need to um, uncomment this then we refresh yeah temporarily we we'll still have this just to, for us to see what happens when we sign up <coughs> so i'm gonna say femi email is femi at G dot ye Africa dot com then program password yeah I've signed up 
Now you see I have my name in here. Now if I should go to my database and I check my user table, I have my name here. This is the database. Now this is user table that I check it, I have my name here. So um, that is how you can sign up. Definitely for you to see your name here, that means you've logged in. Also, if I want to log out, I can log out. And if I want to log back in, um, I just need to enter my name, which is Femi, and my password. Yeah, I'm, I'm logged in. But now let's go to our back end. I uh, will close this. Let me close it for now. We'll go to our back end. Go to our back end. And well, we still have our previous year right there. Now, yeah, it shows we are. So now, in case you want to log in at the back end as well, let's try Femi. It shows that we are, we are not logged in. So now, our front end and our back end is separated, meaning I can actually log, in at, log out at the front end, and my back end will still be logged in. And so they are both independent. So right now, I think we are good to go. We have our front end, which is maintaining our new template. I will have our back end maintaining the whole template. So we will actually separate our front and our back end.